Here with Nani De La Pena and... Michael Licht. Welcome and congratulations. You're both presenting and being presented with an award tonight. How are you feeling? Very excited about being here and really feel so honored that, that I'm able to be in among the most extraordinary virtual reality storytellers that really are on the planet today. It's so wonderful. And I just got back from Sundance myself. I heard you had a project there, right? We did. We premiered the piece except for the award tonight um, at Sundance this year. And that was a huge hit at Sundance. Tell me about the experience in VR this year and how it's going to affect future film festivals. I think virtual reality is kind of like um, just starting to get on its feet and that we're about to see this extraordinary explosion of one of the most powerful new mediums. Uh, for artists, um, it's extraordinary uh, to be able to have this kind of a tool available to us. Um, and uh, I just think we're just getting started. Michael? But what do you think about this you know, amazing virtual reality medium? Oh, yeah, as the medium itself has been pretty extraordinary. I have a background in video game development, so I'm used to sort of a real world, sort of free roaming kind of experience. And now that we're taking these stories and uh, we've seen all the empathy that can be generated in a game environment, we're using the same technology now to put you in, a, in an actual real story where you, you can't be forced to look in one way or see one way, but you actually you experience it in a way that's very natural. and then, so you generate a, a sense of presence that you just couldn't get it if it was just pushed in one direction. Can you talk a little bit about the um, augmented, augmented, excuse me, reality versus mm -hmm. virtual, versus virtual reality? Yeah. Well, a virtual reality is an entire environment. You put on goggles, you can't see anything else on the outside, and all you see is a CG generated environment, right? Um, augmented reality is a mixture, or sometimes people call it mixed reality, depends on what tools you're using. But augmented reality allows you to layer in CG environments with the real world. And when done right, it's a pretty good blend and can fool you to a certain degree. Let me give you a very simple explanation. Virtual reality is when your entire world is virtual. Complex. And augmented reality is when you're augmenting your reality. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, and now you're just laying it onto your here and you're looking at stuff happening all in the world here. But both together are a very similar pipeline to have these, uh, make these things. So if you're working in VR and AR, it's a really natural uh, partnership. When do you think we're going to start seeing this content streaming? Well, there's a lot of people working on what they call web VR right now, and we're already starting to see some of it um, surface. I think just the other day we started to see, some, uh, two days ago, we had a new announcement about web VR. So um, this is, uh, again, growing so fast, I mean, like a rocket ship. Uh, we're seeing the technology, and now the storytellers are coming on board. And when we start seeing these stories being told in theaters, do you think people are going to have the option to wear the glasses, or is it going to be like a whole virtual reality show, you sit down, you don't have to put the glasses on. How is that going to work in theaters for uh, moviegoers? I think that um, it's going to be a very different experience than going to the movie theater. I think that uh, movie theaters aren't necessarily, it's not going to be necessarily sit down unless you're in a some sort of a, a seat that actually interacts with the VR. Yeah. I think you're going to be able to see this in a more walk around arcade experience and then connect to people around the world. I mean, the story I always tell is my son was sitting in my living room with his computer open, my daughter was in the garage. She walked in and he looked up and said, why'd you leave? But, but she just walked in the room. What he meant was, why'd you leave the Minecraft server we were playing on together? So shared experience is going to be different than sitting in a movie theater. Well, I find that you're saying this interesting because uh, you and I both saw how successful VR was at Sundance. It, it just seemed like I had been going for the past maybe eight years, and this was the first year that I just I looked left, I looked right, and every single corner I saw VR. I mean, do you feel like the the movie industry is going to be able to incorporate VR ultimately, or it's just going to be a very separate? So I had the very first piece of VR at Sundance in January of 2012, right? Well, congratulations. Yeah, and so for me, this is extraordinary. And I absolutely do believe that um, because storytellers uh, are finding it such a rich place to work, that I think that um, absolutely studios, um, you know, movie companies, et cetera, et cetera, are all gonna become uh, as engaged with this medium as they have others. Well, thank you so much for the wonderful interview and congratulations on tonight. Thank and you so we much. definitely look forward to seeing everything that you work on, both of you. Thank you so much. Yep. Really and keep up the great work. It's a thank pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you so much. Yes.